Welcome back. We are here at City Hall. Joining me now is Bridget Mearns. Welcome, Bridget. And we've got a nice Christmas tree coming up behind it's us. It, it, it's that time of year. It is. <laughs> Speaking of this time of year, it's actually a big time of year for City Council. We're going into budget deliberations coming up next week. Big time for you. That's right. It is starting next week and we're, we'll be debating the budget all through the week. Hopefully by the end of the week we'll have it approved. Any challenges going into next week that, that you can foresee? Uh, it's, it's a very difficult time. We have to look at what is actually bringing our citizens forward. Where is the value for that money? So we're dealing with a base budget that's 2.9%. Um, obviously our mandate is to keep that number no, low, but still offer the services our citizens want. It's important that these things are debated well and thought about the long-term effect, but you'll see exactly where those increases are. Many of the business units aren't taking any increase, which means they're eating up the inflation within their existing budget. Uh, and there's some that definitely are seeing some increases. Now, a number of uh, organizations have come forward at requesting funding, and you have approved some. I guess you've already made room for some in, in the budget coming up. Well, depending on whether it's a budgetary pressure. So for example, um, the Galt Museum has lost some grant money and they had summer staff. So they put that in as a brush, uh, budget pressure. That's already in that 2.9%. That's already been anticipated. But then there are other new things like the Lethbridge Library is looking for a building to build for their bookmobile. That's brand new. That's something that would have to be uh, approved that's not in that 2.9%. Uh, and then there's community organizations that, that do we do give fee for service or grant money to that are asking for increases. Uh, so just on Monday we had No Kill coming forward saying they, they need more money to be able to accommodate all of the the requests that they're getting for spade and neutering assistance. So those will have to be looked at and that will affect that number too. Exactly, and now this is something that, that takes place every four years, correct? Yes, so because the city council term is now a four-year term versus a three-year term, the budget has anticipated that and gone to a four-year. Um, there is some, going to be some discussion about whether or not we should do two and two, but that yet has yet to be debated and discussed in council. There was a notice of motion on Monday, which means that will come up at a next meeting. The probably biggest uh, initiatives coming up that we're looking at uh, that I neglected to mention is curbside recycling, of course. So that's a big one. Uh, we're looking at four different options. Uh, do what we're doing, um, going to every other week, going weekly for both. The fourth option is organics. Do we roll that out at the same time as curbside? So those are those are things that we're considering along with that budget. So that's probably one of the biggest new initiatives that we're going to have to work through. Excellent, Bridget, thank you so much for joining us today here at City Hall. We will have more coming up on The Go Show.